Konnichiwa, Mina. This is Tisakura, and you're watching PokéCast. Today's timid first-person video is going to be on a PlayStation 3 collection. And that is Assassin's Creed, the American collection. Featuring... Featured game is going to be Assassin's Creed Liberation HD. I'm really excited to have another opportunity to, to uh, show you guys this game. This is personally my favorite Assassin's Creed game. I loved it on the Vita. And I actually enjoyed it when I was able to pick it up um, digitally. The best part about this collection is it comes on the disc physic, you know, got to install it. But having a physical copy makes me really, really excited. And that's why I'm doing this, because I'm going to show each of, play, try each of the games on this collection. And there's uh, at least two of them on this collection, which is three and four. I actually have not played yet, but I do have them physically separate. So I'm going to have to do them a... Uh, Second time as a separate discs over this one for fun. As oh, well, I should at least uh, mention this one is, of course, one to eight players, depending if you're online or not. And believe it or not, 19.5 gigs. That's mainly because um, Black Flag is actually on the disc and runs with the disc. Uh, Liberation, you can install. And then you have number three, which is 11 gigs by itself. So, yeah. As always, 10 minutes to play the game. First time play game, a version of and I can't skip anything. Let's get the timer started. Timer's started, and away we go. Okay. Good. I was actually worried because when I said, oh, um, did you like to save, uh, upload your save? It's like, oh, my save is gone. But I'm really happy to see that it does use your saves. Yay! I have no idea where I'm at. <laughs> I've spent so much time. Uh, I think it... Just to um, do it, we're just going ahead and start a brand new game. And everything, yes. Connect with the past. Relieve history. Nice. Well, I guess I should answer the question as um, the reason why I could say that this is a first time playing this is because I'm playing it through the collection. And that's what I love about collections is that I get the opportunity to play the game again, and that's why I like um, collections because I have that opportunity, or re-releases because then I get to see if there's anything different. So that makes me very happy and ex and I'm genuinely excited because then I get to make a video of it. And that's why I just think it's funny how I can have several videos. Oh, I played this game, but you, and then people are like, but this is your, like your third video on the game. And it's like, yes, yes, it is. But do you know why it is? And so... That's the only reason why I do that. Just because... It gives me an excuse to play it again for the first time. I'm happy to see though that I am... At 23%. That makes me happy. And of course, I have to chase after a chicken. Why a chicken? That's sad. But it's unfortunately it was what happened.
Okay. Wow. Yeah, it's been forever since I played this. I really need to do that again. Hmm. Okay. Hold to Perry. Yes. And Whoops. Okay, now you're cheating. Come on. Oh, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> okay, that's terrifying. Was it the nightmare? We only a dream. It's just so sad. I think that's why I like this one the most is because I love her her character. I think that's what it is. is I really enjoy um her. You know, just she's just an amazing uh character in my opinion. Okay. All right. Only a nightmare. Sequence one. Fully synchronized. Okay. Uh. Whoopsie. <laughs> uh, I did not mean to do that. Interact. Okay. Okay, that's right. I think that's another reason why I like this one so much is that she uses her she uses her, her skin color basically she uses to uh be more than what the other assassins can be since she is a 
you know, high status and everything, when she's dressed normally, people would recognize her and know who she is. But she's able to don clothing to look like the slaves at the moment, and nobody knows the wiser. Because, yeah. So there's a lot more to this one. I, uh, the best way to describe it, because there's just so much more to it. Plus, I like I said, I love the whole. Uh, I just like her story. And plus, I like playing as female characters. <laughs> Can't blame me. Oh, oh well. That was a really beautiful scene right there. Like I said, this writing, I absolutely love it. Just because out of all the assassins, I think... Well, I haven't. I can't really say out of all the assassins yet because I haven't played every single game yet. But I really... Out of the ones I've played so far, she's my favorite assassin... And I just love how this game is. There is so much going on in this game that it just looks beautiful. Uh, there's a lot of hidden stuff all around. You know, it's it's your typical Assassin's Creed game. But I just like the fact that she's a really cool character. And I think that's one thing I love is that, yeah, during... Um, during the game, you can go to a changing chamber, and you can either dress in your assassin's uh, uniform. You can dress as the high-status person that you are, or you can dress as a slave. That way, you can infiltrate, and nobody will know the, the wiser, basically, like I was saying. And so it adds something to it that I think this one was unique about, and I love that about it. Um... Definitely one I need to... Well, I need to be all of them. I'm, I'm planning on doing so. <laughs> um, but it's just one of those games that I really love. And I'm very excited to have a physical copy of it. Um, it's the only way to get the physical copy is through uh, the PlayStation Vita. Or you can get the collection. That way you can have it for the PS3 and the Xbox 360. And that makes me very happy because um, one of my favorite things to do is to get hard copies of digital uh, only games because, you know, especially with what's going on now, um, upon recording this video, the PlayStation uh, online store and app store on the phone will no longer allow you to buy PlayStation 3 uh, PSP and PlayStation Vita games, you have to buy it through the system um, itself. So you can still download things, but you know how sucky it is to download from that store. So to have physical copies of games is something I always look for. So that's why I'm really excited to have this um, a physical copy finally. That way I can sell it and enjoy it when I want to. Um. But that's basically what I can say about this particular game. It is my it's my favorite one in the series so far of what I've played. And that's why I had to try this out. When I saw that there was a physical copy, I picked it up. And I'm so happy to uh, re-experience the beginning of the game with you guys. Um, just absolutely love this. So, it's one that I highly recommend to pick it up. Uh, if you don't like playing a handheld, like I said, it is available for the 360 and the PS3 th through that through this collection. And, um, yeah, it's really uh, sweet, in my opinion. Uh, my question then for you guys is, what do you prefer to play as more? A female character or a male character? Um, and who are some of your favorites? Let's just, you know, throw that in for fun. <sighs> For me, if there's not a choice, 
it doesn't matter. I'm just going to flat out say that. If I don't have a choice on having a male or female character, it doesn't bother me at one bit. Now, when I have a choice to choose, I will always choose a female character because, well, I'm attracted to girls. You know, I, I like girls. <laughs> so, I would rather have a attractive female character to have in my game. And uh, that's just the, my honest uh, opinion about it. And not only that, but I like having a heroine than a hero more often than not because, well, I like anime. And a lot of the times, a lot of the cool uh, heroes or heroines <laughs> you know, uh, usually are the girls. Like when I'm uh, in comic books, um, some of my favorite comic book heroes, you know, I, uh, I actually collect more of than some of the others, you know, is She-Hulk, uh, Batgirl, and I do collect uh, Cassandra Cain, I do collect um, Barbara Gordon, you know, those are my two favorites. Um, I like Supergirl, so, you know, I prefer uh, female heroes, and that's just my opinion, it's just what I like. Now, she's definitely one of my... Uh, female heroes I really do like because of you know she's a, she if I remember correctly she's the first a female assassin in the series that we actually get to play so that's uh, one thing but she's just strong she's very intelligent she's very cunning and I and that's why I enjoy about her um Aya um there's another character that I really like from Onichi Jimbara. But Saki is probably the one I like out of all of them because she's just a no-nonsense high school girl that's just like, screw you, you know, type thing. Um, Sakura, of course, because, you know, T. Sakura. Or T. Sakura, you know, however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> Definitely uh, Sakura Kasagano is one of my absolute uh, female heroes that I absolutely love. I love her attitude. She has such a great personality. And she's never really down. She's just always so happy. And she is a force to be reckoned with. She may not be as strong as Ryu. But she can still hold her own. And she just doesn't, she doesn't know how to give up. I think that's why I like her so much and my my uh i chose to base my cyber name off of her or my gamer tag off of her you know and so yeah that's how i personally feel about it and those are some of the uh of the girls uh, uh in games i really like so yeah let me know down in the comments below about what you guys think always love to hear and thank you guys for watching i was really happy to uh re-experience this game with you guys this is Tisa Kura saying ciao and sayonara.